we have devoted the bulk of this program to the extreme venality and insensitivity to, to insensitivity to human life of the Republican Party and its paymasters in corporate and billionaire America, and rightfully so, because Trump is a terrible, or Trump care is a terrible weight bearing down on all of us. But let us not forget some other, uh, and particularly one other political development that's happened in the last few days in the state of California, where the state Senate passed a single-payer health care bill. Now, many states couldn't pull it off because they're too small to run their own single-payer health care system. But California is one-fifth of the entire U.S. economy. California is bigger than most other or many other developed nations. So California is certainly in a position to create a single-payer program. We enthusiastically support their effort to do that. But Recently, the California single-payer single effort was killed not by a Republican, but by a Democrat. Now, let's try to understand that Democrat's thinking a little bit. The Democrat in question is uh, Anthony Rendon. He is the Speaker of the Assembly, the State Assembly. The bill having passed the Senate went to the State Assembly. The Speaker has great power. Rendon, instead of bringing the single-payer bill to the floor, is effectively killing it by sticking it in his file drawer. So uh, Rendon issued a statement when he did this that said, uh, first uh, chastised the Republicans for their cynical plan to repeal repeal the Affordable Health Care Act. Then he said preparing California to meet this threat must be the top health care policy for the legislature, uh, as well as others in the Senate. He says he was a longtime supporter of single payer, uh, but he says the Senate bill is woefully incomplete uh, because it doesn't cover certain, or he suggests, I don't think correctly, but that it doesn't cover certain details. So in light of this, I've decided the bill will remain in the Assembly Rules Committee until further notice. That's political speak for, I'm killing it. Now he says, this doesn't mean the bill is dead. It leaves open the exact deep discussion and debate uh, everyone has said is needed. I'm paraphrasing slightly. In the interest of time, uh, in the meantime, let's focus on the real immediate threat. So what Rendon is really saying is, kind of illogical. He's saying, because we have a threat at the federal level uh, of repealing uh, the Affordable Care Act, I'm not going to allow a better bill to be passed at the state level, because we should be con concentrating on the threat, even though it, the state assembly can do nothing about what happens in Washington. It just, it may, that part makes no sense. And he's also saying, because this bill, I don't think it has all the details it needs, I'm going to make sure it doesn't get debated so that we can fill in the details it needs. It just makes no sense why this guy would kill the bill, unless, of course, you follow the money, okay? Because if you follow the money, you find big corporate money, as David Sirota and Josh Keefe wrote recently, uh, has been really opposing this single-payer bill. And now big corporate money, uh, uh, corporate groups opposing the legislation gave out millions in the last two election cycles, including the fact that Rendon, the Senate president, Kevin DeLeon, and Governor Jerry Brown, who some have suggested opposes this bill, they've all received a combined $370,000 from groups that oppose this legislation now in state electoral terms $370,000 is pretty significant cash, but it's also, given the multi-billion dollar size of the California healthcare economy, it's also an extremely smart investment for, uh, for these groups if, in return for that rather modest sum, they were able to in influence Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon to kill the single payer bill. Now, my personal belief is that that is exactly what happened. Now, uh, Mr. Rendon, Assembly Speaker Rendon, 
is uh, available on social media. He has a Twitter handle. He has a public page. He should learn, uh, hear from every one of his constituents. Uh, he should be educated on Twitter regularly that this posture must change.